Hi guys, welcome back to Villa Molino Cookery Club. Today we're going to make a ragu, which is slightly different to the previous ragu I made. The previous one had a whole joint of silver side beef cooked slowly in the tomato sauce and then it was carved. This one is very similar to what we sell in uh, Damario Kensington, very, very popular dish where we use beef, we use a cut which is uh, brisket or is the chuck. Now we're gonna cut this in like big bite-sized chunks like this, about golf ball size. There we're gonna have, so here we've got 1.5 kilo of beef. We've got 1.5 kilo of Italian peeled plum tomatoes. We put it in the bowl, and we scrunch it by hand, scrunch by hand, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. The reason why we do this, we don't use a stick blender, we don't use the Moulinex, we don't use a rubber cook, because you must not break the seeds. If you use a stick blender, you break the seeds, it releases a very bitter flavor to the sauce. You can have the seeds in there, that's not a problem. You don't want to break them, so you scrunch by hand, keep the seeds whole. So apart from that, we've got Beef, tomato sauce, six garlic, slightly crushed. Okay, nice flavor there. We don't need celery, onions, carrots. This is a plain ragu. We've got about six bay leaves, a little bit of oregano, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. We've got a beautiful red wine. I'm using Primitivo San Mazzano, which is very good. This wine is actually 14.5%. Maybe a bit too good, but hey, you know, I just found it in the wine fridge. Look at that beautiful color. Mmm. And we have the olive oil. Okay, so this is the Maison Plus. I'm gonna cut out now and I'm gonna come back to you. I'm gonna start cooking the, the sauce. This is another sauce which is perfect for prepping in the morning. Put it on the slow simmer, one hour, two hour, three hours. Leave it and eat it that evening or eat it the next day, fantastic, as Gina would say. Oh, fantastic. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare the meat. We need to sear the meat. We wanna get a little bit of color on the outside. We wanna seal it. Okay, so we want a really, really hot, a really hot pan and a little bit more olive oil than usual. Okay, right, so hopefully that will give us a nice sizzle. Two seconds, one, two, it's coming up. I can see the oil start to shimmer. That's when the oil is ready. Let's get some tongs. Just put it in a little at a time. Can you, hello? Can you hear the sizzle? That's what we want. We want to fry the, the meat, not boil it. We want to fry it. Maximum heat on the, on the stove, on the stove, number 10. We got the meat. Can you hear it still sizzling? That's what we want. That's what we want. Beautiful, beautiful aroma. This is from the Dexter cattle. Very good quality beef. Right, so it's sizzling. It's, it's telling me it's very happy in there. Okay, now we want to chuck the garlic in. We want that garlic to cook a little bit in the oil. Can you hear that sizzle? Can you hear that sizzle? Wow, it's cooking so good. Don't worry if the beef gets stuck to the bottom of the pan. Don't worry, that's good. You want a nice caramelization on the, on the beef. Look at that, look at that. Can you hear the sizzle? I'm gonna show you in a minute. Oh, beautiful. Straight away, we're getting a nice color on the beef. I'm gonna sizzle that for a couple of minutes, come back to you in a minute. Okay guys, one thing I forgot to mention, when we put the tomato sauce in, I like to use a little bit of tomato concentrate. This is a cute little cup, it's made by Chirio. It's a tomato concentrate, you can get it in any supermarket, it's great because you can use the whole cup, you don't have any wastage, check that out. Okay, so, the beef is sizzling, can you hear it? Okay, we've got the beef sizzling. It's got a bit of color. It's got a bit of color. It's sizzling, it's sizzling. It's not boiling, it's not bubbling. It's not braising, it's sizzling. Can you see that? 
Oh, maybe it's a bit foggy. Okay, now we put our wine in. I reckon we need about 200 milliliters, which is probably something like... That's about 200 milliliters, okay? That's gonna go in here and then we wanna evaporate that off. Still on maximum heat. Okie dokie. So there's the wine in there. We want to bring that back up to the sizzle, uh, back up to the boil. It's coming up to the boil straight away. You want to burn off all that alcohol and reduce that wine down to a syrup. You know it's ready when it starts to sizzle again. I'll, I'll let you listen to it when it starts to sizzle. It's boiling now. Some of that wine is going to be absorbed by the meat. Some of that wine is going to evaporate. Some of that wine is going to go into my, my mouth. Ah, so let's let that boil down back in a minute. Hello, how do I know the wine is ready to take the sauce? Because it's not boiling anymore, it's starting to sizzle. The sound is changed from a bubble to a sizzle and the wine has reduced to almost a syrup. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? And look at that color. Can you see that color on there? That is amazing, amazing. Okay, it's starting to sizzle, so it's ready for the sauce. I've still got it on maximum heat. Okay, so sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. White wine has reduced. The alcohol has gone away. So now we've got the uh, tomato sauce. No, hang on a minute, before the sauce, let's put the puree, the puree. Here we go, that's all we need. That's all we need, check that out. Okay, so we put the puree. Puree must always cook out. So puree is there with the, with the red wine syrup. The red wine is now a syrup. Can you hear the sizzle? Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Look at that, nice and shiny. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Tomato concentrate. Can you hear that sizzle? Oh my goodness, I gotta turn it down. Look at that. Look at that. That's what you want. That's what you want. Pay attention. Okay, right. What have we got? We got maximum heat. The wine is gone. The tomato has, the tomato concentrate is cooked out. Now we put the sauce. Now we put the sauce, 1.5 kilo. Now what do we want to do? We just want to add a little bit of water. What do we have? Let's see what water. We got Evian, let's see. About the same amount as the wine. 250 uh, milliliter. Okay. Look at that, look at that. A little bit of seasoning, a little bit as you go along, a little bit as you go along. Pay attention. Don't put the salt in and then taste it and say it's perfect because when that's finished cooking, it's gonna be too salty. Right. So what do we do? We put the bay leaves. One, two, three, four. Four is enough, four bay leaves. Okay, just stir that all together. Tiny pinch of oregano. Don't put anything more than a tiny pinch. Just to bring out, bring out the tomato flavor. Okay, look at that, look at it. It looks like a finished sauce already. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Ah. Okay, what do we do now? What do we do now? What did we do before? Leave it, don't touch. Put the lid, have we got the lid? Put the lid, turn it down, the lowest setting. Leave the lid on for one hour and then check it. Stir it every 20 minutes, leave the lid on. This needs three hours. Go and do something else, go and watch a movie. Come back in three hours, ciao. Okay, welcome back. So what have we done? What have we done? We put the beef in, we put the sauce in, we put a little bit of water, we put the lid on. Three hours. Tre ore. 
three hours. We check it every 20 minutes, we give it a little stir. It's a bloop, 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 bubbling away. Three hours, the meat is so tender. Look at that, look at that. Oh, the, the, the color, the color of the sauce is to die for. It's deep, 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 deep red. It's not like from a tin. It's not like a ready meal. It's proper Italian food. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Get the focus. That is the best meal you can have. Ragu. Now we have the nice chunks of beef. You can have that on its own with some bread. You can have that with some polenta. You can have that with some pasta. You can have that as a tapas. What else? What else? You can put it, you can put the, the meat in a dish, put some mashed potato on top, make it like a Italian shepherd's pie. Do what you want. You can freeze it in little bags, meat and sauce, put it in the freezer. You got it for another day. Look at that, look at that. Look at this, look at this. If you could smell this now, my God, look at that. Thank you, Edward. Your cows are amazing. Your Dexter beef is fantastic. Here we go. Look at that, look at that. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. You can see the meat. I'm trying to do it. I'm going to show you. Wait there. Don't go away. Don't go away. I'm still talking. Look at that. Look at that. Beef ragu alla da Mario. Guarda, guarda. Mwah. We can jazz it up. Put some basil, blah, blah, blah. Jazz it up, jazz it up. Bit of color, bit of this, bit of that. Look at that, look at that. It's nice. Look at that. This is nice with some nice homemade pasta. Look at that. Look at that. Beef ragu. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This is, this is Italy on a plate. Ciao.